Hi there, I'm Jay Atwood, and we're going to explore Autocrat, the document merge script written by Tim Cargan for New Visions for Public Schools. Autocrat is a Google Apps script that's available in the add-on store of the new Google Spreadsheets. It was originally written by Andrew Stillman, but has recently been rewritten from the ground up by Tim Cargan. It allows you to merge information from a spreadsheet into a Google Doc or even into another spreadsheet. The first thing you're going to need to do is install Autocrat from the add-on store. So you get add-ons and you can scroll through the list or search for Autocrat. When you install it, you'll first have to authorize it. The nice thing about the new way that add-ons work is that they're always available. You only need to install it once. You can learn more about the script or just dismiss this notification. The first time you run it, you'll get a little prompt here asking you to provide some feedback to New Visions for Public Schools. As you can see, the panel on the right side of the spreadsheet is where all the action happens. Now remember, Autocrat is a document merge script, so it takes data that's saved in a spreadsheet. In this case, let's pretend that this is a workshop sign-up form for a workshop that I've led, where I've got the name of my participants, the school that they work at, the workshop, their Twitter handle, and their email address. And I want to use this information to create a certificate of attendance for a workshop that I'm leading. So I'll be using the column headers here as placeholders in the Google Doc for the certificate. Let me jump over to the certificate that I've already created. As you can see here, I've got all the text, I've got some images, and I've got placeholders here for your name, for the workshop title, for their school. I'm using their name again twice. You can use it as many times as, you, as you'd like, and also for their Twitter handle. You notice that each of them have these double brackets or chevrons on each side. You can apply any font you want and any formatting, and that will be created in each of the docs that Autocrat generates. Now make sure that you use only alphanumeric characters in between these brackets, and that it matches exactly what you have in the column headers of your spreadsheet. Now here's a little tip. In your drive, it's probably best if you keep the template and the spreadsheet in the same folder. It just helps you stay organized. Now that you've got all your assets with the spreadsheet and the template doc ready to go, you can start running Autocrat. The first thing you'll need to do from your spreadsheet is add that template document. So click on Add Template, and a file picker will open up. You can search for the file, or if you know where it's saved, you can drill down into the folder. Select the template doc, and notice that you get a little hint here that you must that the doc must have uh, valid merge tags. So select that. So in the panel on your right, you now have your document template listed. If you need to remove it, you can with a little X. If you want to click on the name itself, it will open it up so you can double check. And if everything is okay, you can click use this template. Now we need to map the tags. We map the merge tags that you've identified in your Google Doc with the column headers from the spreadsheet. Now, I always recommend that you use the same exact column headers as you did on the merge tags of the document. That way this is a lot easier. Autocrat will go ahead and it will try to match up what it thinks is the best fit. You can always go through and change it if you wish. And if you have more than one sheet in your spreadsheet, you could select that from the dropdown. If you make any changes, be sure to click the little refresh button. And if everything's okay, click save to move to the next step. In the merge settings step, Autocrat allows you to set the file naming convention to use. It gives you variables here that come right from your spreadsheet. So if you want to name each document uniquely, you can by adding people's name and anything else you want. There are various file types that you can create using Autocrat, either a Google Doc or a PDF. In this case, I'm going to create a Google Doc. Now, if you want to keep these docs just for yourself, you don't have to do this next step. But if you want to share them back with the participants, in this case, you check this box and you get an option to edit the email that will go to each participant. When the edit email compose window comes up, you can start to fill this in. And you can still use the variables that, work, that come straight from your doc. There are various types of docs that you can attach. You can attach a Google Doc that they can view only, that they can edit, that they could comment upon, 
or that's only viewable by the link. Or you could convert it to a PDF and attach that file. That's what I'm going to do in this case. Click Save. Now you're ready to go on to the next step, so save again. And you'll notice in the background that Autocrat has created some new columns for me with black fill colors. Please don't modify these because Autocrat needs them to fill in when it's merging the docs. Now you're basically ready to run the merge. You can check out the FAQ, which gives you some information on the limitations of Google Scripts. There are also some advanced features, so let's take a look at those. In the advanced settings, you have a couple of options here. First off, you could set a conditional merge option. So if you had another column in which you had identified different groups, let's say, you could change the setting here, and if that particular condition were true, Autocrat would run the merge. If it's not true, it would leave those lines blank. That's a good thing to do if you may have two different forms and you want to give to two different groups. So you can actually run that twice if you'd like. I'll show you how at the end. You also here have the option to select a particular folder that you want to save the merged documents in. If you don't create a folder, Autocrat will create one for you. So don't worry about this. I'm just going to go back because I haven't changed any of these settings. So that's it. Let's go ahead and run our merge and see what happens. And that's it. They've all successfully merged. Now Autocrat tells you where it has saved those files. So if you click on the link, it'll open up the folder that has all of those files in there. And they've all been merged and named successfully. So we can open up one just to take a look. So as you can see, it's merged the person's name, the workshop, their high school, and I even used a font that kind of looks like a, si a signature. So that's the basic demo of Autocrat. You can close the panel here, and you see our spreadsheet has all the information we need. So we can open up those merge docs and links anytime we need. Now I said I was gonna show you about creating two different templates to use one of those advanced features of conditions on merge. So if I go back to Autocrat, and I go back to choose my template, I could add another template here. So I have my original template that has this kind of parchment yellow background, but let's say I also have a blue background, so I've created a copy that's CERT blue. So in my file picker, if I choose this and select it, I'll now have two different templates that I could choose from. So if I did have a field here that said yellow or blue, I could run it first with the blue, and then in my advanced settings, I could set a conditional merge option where a particular field e equaled blue. Let's say I had a column here for color. I would run it and it would only create documents for the lines that match that. Then I could go back and run it again, selecting the original template and come back here and change it to the other color, the other condition. So it, it's not automated in that it would run both at the same time. You just have to go back and run it a second time by going back and changing the original template. So that's it for the new Autocrat that's been completely rewritten by Tim Cargan. I'm pretty proud of this because Tim was one of my former students who's been working with Andrew Stillman and the team at New Visions for Public Schools. I hope you learned something from the tutorial and I hope you share all of the good things that you're doing with Autocrat. Happy scripting!